strawberry. Is it up there? Yeah. Finally building Fatima a house in her village, making her dreams come true. But I can't help because I got to film. Who's going to hold a camera? I got to hold a camera. I can't wait till we're done with this construction. And, and so you can see the smile on this old girl's face, folks. Her dream for forever since she met me. Been to build a house in her village, move to the village. I'm making that dream come true. 
because every weekend now she has a place to come to. I say she, we, we have a place to come to. We're building a, a place of our own to call home. Cinco or a peso? Safety, my girl's so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She wants the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out of Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you're hearing us. We live and it's good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tinted frames on me, leaning down. Winning now. Been a while, you ain't like it ever. How you like it now? Folks, I want to welcome you to Filipino wife number two's new house in the village. My gosh, she's so excited. I'm gonna interview her in a few minutes. But I have successfully constructed a brand new house for Filipino wife number two in her village. We got chicken over there on the bamboo, just off the rotisserie, so to speak, the lichon manok. Life is good here in the village, my friends. Welcome to today's show. 
Fatima, how excited are you to finally have your own house in the village? Tell us how excited you are to sweep the floors of your own house in the village. And our son is on a motorcycle over there about to turn it over. Yes, can you get Forrest G off the motorbike? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Folks, this chicken right here. That chicken right there smells absolutely delicious. It smells so delicious. I have no idea why Fadima is not over here nibbling on it. I think it's just because she's so excited about her new crib. She's over there cleaning the crib. Look at that old girl. She's so happy after six, seven years of dealing with the foreign guy, baby. Your dream finally come true, girl. Hey, don't be nibbling. Wait till we say the blessing. Hold it off, baby. Hold it up. <laughs> She's not gonna wait. Cut the mind, no nibbling. No nibbling, I'm watching you. Got the mice and grandma moving her in. Moving her out of my crib into her own crib, folks. Exciting day here in the village. <laughs> folks, let me give you a, t uh, a tour here. It's a two bedroom chalet. Village I I chalet. What you got a rock under there? He's fishing out a rock. So you're gonna turn that motorbike over, buddy. Let's go. Hey, uh, ladies, how come he can climb so much quicker than you ladies? <laughs> because he's boy, then we're girls, you know. I think it has to do with the difference in kilos. Oh, 
Ay, hello. Ako. Ay, ko na. Ay, ko. Be, be. Iksa. Sige, sige lang. Sige lang. Sige lang. Grabe siya na ka-iksa ko eh. Hello. 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 Sige. Go. Why? Go. Go. Hello man eh. Are you updating your Tinder profile? Padima is updating her Tinder profile. Single mom seeking seeking new love. Are you update your Tinder? Yes. If they have a good, I know. Your Filipino Cupid. <laughs> You're missing it, ladies. The sunset's over here. Listen. If you come over here, you can take a picture with the sunset. Hi, how was the dress background? <laughs> What a beautiful night. It is so beautiful out here. Just nice cool breeze. It's a little cloudy. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at this crew. Everybody's just sitting out here. Maria just went back with Grandma. She's going to get uh, Tito Ramel some galafo. 
I brought four red horse, but he's a Kalafu player. I said, yeah, go get the man Kalafu. With 50 something pesos, a dollar. Look at this crew right here. My goodness, simple things in life, my friends. Sitting in the middle of a sugar cane field, just chilling, enjoying the sunset. I'll tell you my plan for this tent. When I'm not here, I'm going to do an Airbnb. Uh, what does that mean? That means I'm going to rent it out on the internet. People can come stay in my tent. <laughs> you ladies be the hostess. Maybe they can serve food. <laughs> Look, I make it from with lemon, water, and and salt. Good Sugar. job, Maria. Sugar. Royal na lang. Asa. Royal. Ni? 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 We got some coolies here installing lights up in Fatima's new house up in my tent up in the crib we're about to we're about to electrify this this new crib here can't see it right now but I got electricians working on the job I got grandma on the job I'm gonna light this thing up like Christmas. Looks like Fatima's helping out with the electrical work. All I see is a little bit of light shining off that big tummy. The tent will last a long time, but with the babies, the zippers will be destroyed within days. Just what it is. So I want to give you a look around the sugar cane field. Now look. It may appear that we're in the middle of the jungle. We're actually not. Because if you have electricity, you're not in the middle of the jungle. And if you look out through here, there are power lines. I mean, new steel, aluminum, metal, whatever the power lines are. They're not the old wooden ones. There's lights all over this field. Okay, there's a good smart signal here now. There used to not be the smart put a tower in. And so there's actually good uh, wipe a good cell signal so you have Wi-Fi right where before you didn't and all the time it would go out so as long as you have smart I don't know about globe but everybody switched to smart but you can see it, th this is not we're not in the middle of the jungle right I've been in the middle of the jungle there ain't no electricity in the middle of the jungle and progress is coming you know they cut roads in here uh, updated the power lines we have a signal now so we're not in the middle of the, of the jungle if they ran fiber optic to the village I'd move to the village and just dig a deep well and solve the well problem but we have electricity we have cell phone signal so people can get on the internet now when I first started coming here you couldn't you had to go if you followed and followed me back then you had to go to the second floor of the big house now i'm not going to start telling the cheesemas about the big house but basically a gentleman started it and for un unforeseen circumstances he never finished the house but back then what had to happen was you had to go to the second floor <laughs> you had to go to the second floor this lady's going around me in the middle of the road with this camera 
you had to go to the second floor of that big house to get a cell phone signal. So I don't know how many videos I did back then. But basically, especially at night, the top floor of that house would be nothing but village folks up there with their cell phones to get a signal, send a text. Now back then, everybody had talk and text. Nobody had, this is seven years ago, nobody had a smartphone. Everybody's up there with their talk and text trying to get a signal just to send a text and see what was going on. So in the evenings, everybody was up there, and I'm like, you know, the woods getting old, this place is gonna collapse, it's gonna kill like 30 villagers, 30 of her family members, cause it's not gonna sustain. So finally it got to the point where you can't go up there, it's too dangerous. Now the roof is starting to come off the place, as you see, and there's no need to go up there because there's a signal now. We actually solved the problem um, back then by a couple places we were at by taking a pocket Wi-Fi putting that thing on a long huge pole getting it way up high in the air and then obviously you know you know it would beam down to your cell phone and you had service but you had to put that pocket Wi-Fi on a long ass pole run an extension cord to keep it powered and people thought it was magic <laughs> They, didn't, they don't understand how antennas and radio waves and that stuff work. All they know is there's no signal here. Foreign guy puts a pocket Wi-Fi and sticks that thing way up in the air to get a signal. And then all of a sudden there's a signal. We don't have, the, the village doesn't have those problems. The biggest problem in the village is there's no running water. Most people here uh, don't have running water. I say most because supposedly one one of the folks that lived here dug their own well and put a pump in. They actually have running water in the house off of the well. I could solve the problem with a little bit of money and a little bit of effort. And I should. I just haven't in the past been around here long enough to sit down and say, okay, what problem can I solve to make their life easier? And you see this gentleman right here carrying the water? No. That should be potable water, but you don't know. They might be using those. Let's see the black containers right there. You got to go down the hill to the well, pump it up, way up here. The water's heavy. If you don't know about water, my friends, water is heavy, and that's the biggest hardship here in the village that they face. Is there's no running water. You, the, these young dudes, <laughs> that's their job. Bless them. They got to go down to the well and hump that water up that hill so we can wash dishes, cook. Now there's a CR behind this house. I did a couple videos in the five, six years ago. How to take a shit in your Filipino wife's village, right? Maybe I'll put the links down in the description. But there ain't no running water up here and this is high ground. The well is on the low ground and that's the biggest problem here in the village. Yes, I could solve it. Uh, we could uh, dig another well, put some pumps in, run some lines. We could solve that problem. So these young gentlemen right here don't have to carry water everywhere. Now with that said, if that's filtered water, maybe that is filtered water. But, I mean, that's how filtered water comes. You can't drink the water here. You can't drink uh, the well water or the water from, from the... Uh, you know, from the water line. There ain't no water line out here. But if there were, you can't drink the water. You gotta get filtered water. But regardless, water is the issue. <laughs> Folks, my new crib, Fatima's new house, is now electrified. Let me give you a gander. Pulaga. Hey, buddy. Hey, sweet boy. Hey, Forest G. Yeah, let there be light. Look at that. You, you got a little power strip right here.
Lighter. Okay, but listen, we, we go to the river. I'm, I want to catch a crocodile. A crocodile. We don't have crocodile. No crocodiles. No. Oh, no. There's no crocodile. There's no crocodile. I want a big crocodile. Snake. Oh, uh, alligator. 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 I think alligator. All right, so what, what can we catch at the river? Crab, fish, and that. Shrimp. A crab, fish, what about shrimp? Shrimp. 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 Mm. Mm. I think Raquel give you the rubber so, boots. Because these boots are made oh. for walking. Oh. Wait, make it us, you have a light. Make it us, we need a light. I got some lights. Oh. 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 stay with Tatai. 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 I don't know what to do. I think it's a good thing. Don't worry about it, let's go. No protection. Don't worry about it. 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 Baby, did you get my soon down? No. How many soon How many soon down? 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 How many Folks, good morning. It is so cool. It was such a cool night. It was cold. I mean, you had to, you had to get under the covers. That's how cool it was. Breeze blowing. Zero flies, mosquitoes, or bugs. This is like the best camping trip ever. Of course, you wake up to a million roosters, but that's the village. Welcome to the village. <laughs> Four, she's so happy. Wow. Just what a wonderful night camping in the village. Oh my pet died. The fish, the crab, 
Everybody? Oh no, sweetie. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Everybody die? Mm. Maybe they got the fighting. The fish and the crab were fighting. Sorry, sweetie. Sorry about the crab, Maria. Let's eat the crab now. You want, you want to eat it now? Again, good morning from the village. A little bit of rain going on. Underneath this star apple tree, mango tree, not much rain has made it through. So if it's just a little dusting of rain, what have you, we're still pretty dry under here. In fact, I got me some coffee going on, hot coffee in the morning. When you're camping and you wake up to hot coffee, man, hey look, this is the Philippines, right? It's the tropics. But here, in the village there's mostly most of the time there's a cool breeze coming through and like Fatima said it gets cold at night and last night it got cold so like waking up right now it's like a San Diego morning it's cool but with the cool and the breeze it takes away the mosquitoes the bugs the flies I mean, I'm not lying. That's the that's the best night camping I think I've ever had as far as comfort. It was like going to sleep in the bedroom with the air conditioning running. There was no difference. If if every camping experience was like that, man, no. I mean, I'd camp every night. Different view. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Delicious. Not real coffee. It's three in one. Here you say, you know, three in one coffee. It's basically instant coffee. It sort of tastes like hot chocolate, but it's not. They call it coffee, but it's not real coffee. It's called three in one. It's a packet of sugar. Honey, how do you like your new house in the village? New house, I like it. I like I hope, I wish that I have a concrete. No concrete, baby. I got you a tent. Uh, nice design. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to figure out why you insist on having a concrete house. You know that concrete is just overrated. You know what I mean? Mm. What's wrong with the tent, baby? When they have a typhoon, there's going to be a Well, okay, you said figure there's only a few typhoons that, that'll blow away the tent. I'll buy you a new tent. 5,000 pesos long. 5,000 in it? No, the 10,000 pesos. That's 10,000? Yeah, so if the typhoon blow it away, you get a new tent. No! A terakil! A concrete. Ten thousand ako nuna, tapos mag-typhoon, palitan ako ng kukbalik, sayang-sayang, galas. 
I'll get you a new one. You get a new house every typhoon season. Every year you get a new house, baby. Baby, concrete's overrated. Nobody wants concrete anymore. <laughs> fabric, baby. Fabric. Nylon. That's the new concrete.